Apparently the castle's been trying to get you on the radio. Some kind of situation over there. Better go see what's going on. Yes? Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to be wrapping up some of the side quests that we started and have not turned in yet. But before we do, we're going to finish up doing stuff for the castle. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now, I tried my very hardest to get Ronnie Shaw to go and talk to me over the radio in Radio Freedom. And she just, for the life of me, would not talk over the radio. So I don't know if it's just bugged or what, but she just won't talk over the radio. To be able to get Ronnie Shaw to come over to the castle, what I did is I fast traveled to Sanctuary, fast traveled back to the castle, and then I fast traveled back to Sanctuary, talked to Preston. He said, hey, they're trying to get a hold of you over at the castle. Go ahead and listen to your Radio Freedom but Ronnie Shaw didn't say anything. Luckily, I know that she's nice. here. Very nice. So All we're just going to have to talk to her and, and continue the quest this way. Let's go ahead and talk to Ronnie Shaw. Ah, there you are, finally. I've been waiting to talk to you. You forgot to make an appointment. Ah, oh, what smart mouth, eh? I'm Ronnie Shaw, Commonwealth Minutemen. At least I was back before Joe Becker got himself killed and the idiots took over. Glad to meet you. We can use some more veterans around here. Ah, well, you're right about that. I feel like some of these you've got still may need their diapers changed. I'd still like to hear what you came to talk to me about. Heard you were trying to get the Minutemen back on their feet. Thought I'd come see the new general for myself. So what's your story? What makes you think anybody even wants the Minutemen back? The Commonwealth needs the Minutemen. People are starting to realize that. I've heard some good things. Wouldn't be here otherwise. Now that I'm here, I can see you really need my help. We can always use more experienced soldiers. Yeah, you're not kidding. But I had something more specific in mind. I'm probably the only one who still remembers this. But the castle's armory was located in the West Bastion. All of our best equipment was stored in there. Weapons, ammo, schematics, you name it. Come on, I'll show you. Ah, good. Looks like it might still be intact. Door still sealed. Bastion hasn't collapsed. Trick now is finding a way in. I hope you have an idea. Of course I do. If you can't go through, go around. Let's have a look at the Northeast Bastion. I did go in here and clear out a bunch of stuff. So I already have the portion that we need to clear out, cleared out. If you're wondering how to do that, just go into your workbench. And where I'm about to show everybody, you just scrap it. It's like a big, like pile of rubble that you'll scrap in a doorway. This was the general's quarters. Used to be a tunnel leading from here to the armory. Well, looky here. You've already cleared it. Good job. Let's get down there and see if there's still a way through. So yeah, right here, this will be a bunch of rubble. You just clear it out. Ronnie, can you move, please? Be careful of the frag mines. There's a bunch of them over here. Uh, pretty dark down here. We better watch our step. Ronnie can trip the landmines, so be very careful. Out of the radiation. Grab these bags of cement. We'll be needing them shortly. Just try to get to the frag mines before Ronnie gets over by them. 
Well, she's gonna walk right over them. Can always use some more fertilizer. It's all good stuff. Forgot there is one right there. Sarge went haywire. He's been guarding the castle since uh, forever, as far as I know. Ah, let's see. I used to know this password. One if I land. Nah, that's not it. For the Commonwealth. Oh, it's been a long time. United we stand. Yeah, that was it. Excuse me. Hey, General. Ah, that explains all the landmines. This is, well, was, General McGann. He had your job back when I first joined up. Must have gotten trapped down here when that sea beast attacked the castle. Ah, he did manage to keep the armory secure. I'll give him that much. Ah, guess the uniform is yours now, if you want it. This old geezer doesn't need it anymore. Rest in peace, General. Your fight is done, and the Minutemen live on. There's no point in getting all sentimental about something that happened 40 years ago. Come on, we're almost through. It's actually a really cool get up that we just got. I'm not going to wear it because what I'm wearing is going to be way better than what we just got. Here we are. Ah, uh, let's see if this still opens from here. There we go. Told you I'd get us in here. Now, let's see what kinds of goodies are left. Excellent. The armory's still intact. Everything we need, just waiting for us. And the cream of the crop, schematics for building artillery. I have to admit, Ronnie, having artillery would help out quite a bit. Oh, we used to rain down fire on Deathclaws and super mutants alike. It was a glorious thing. All right, grab that schematic and let's get going. Don't forget to grab some smoke grenades, too. Pick all this stuff up, and then right here we can get the artillery flares. Just looting a little bit before we get out of here. We'll be able to sell this stuff. By the way, Ronnie Shaw does become a vendor, and she sells some pretty decent stuff. Let's go over to yeah. the workbench. I'm going to deposit some stuff inside here real quick. Hi, how are you? You're tuned to Radio Freedom, Voice of the Minutemen. 
to talk to Ronnie Shaw. Hey. Ah, looks like you've got everything we need. As soon as you get some artillery built, we'll do a test fire to calibrate it. Let's hold the middle pad and go into our build menu. And we're going to go into special. We're going to build some artillery. I freaking love artillery. The whole reason I love the Minutemen is because of the artillery you can get. We're going to put one of these guys down. That's not working. We're going to assign him to the artillery. We're actually going to build two artillery pieces. And then we'll talk to Ronnie Shaw. If you like building settlements, artillery is such an OP thing you can get in every settlement. Just build it all up and then anywhere you are in the Commonwealth, you can rain down hellfire on anything. It's pretty awesome. You're not doing anything. Why don't you come up here? Sure. And then I'm going to build a bed for Ronnie Shaw real quick. I have to put some food down here eventually, but I'll do that off recording. Let's talk to Ronnie Shaw. Excuse me. Ah, gosh darn, it's good to see artillery here again. So here's the thing about the big guns. They can't fire at anything too close, but their range is impressive. That's what the smoke grenades are for. Toss one of those at the bad guys. If we have artillery in range, we'll confirm over the radio and target our fire on your smoke. But first, we better do a test fire. Make sure we're hitting what we're aiming at. You see that little building over there? We'll use that for our aiming point. Keep your radio on and tuned to Radio Freedom so we can confirm we're ready. Let's go into our pit boy. We're gonna go over to our inventory. We're gonna favorite our artillery smoke. And then we're gonna equip it. And then we're gonna go to Radio Freedom. And we're going to turn on Radio Freedom. All right, General, if you can hear me, we're ready. Toss one of those smoke grenades into the target area and we'll start the test fire. smoke on the target. You might want to stand back. You, you know, just in case. I like watching from this vantage point. It's pretty awesome. We can also see the guy getting ready to aim. And then when he's done, you'll see it fire. Boom. So freaking awesome. I love it. That truck's gonna blow up in a second. I see it on fire. They shoot for a good minute too.
Should be just about done. Artillery support. Use it wisely, General. Let's go ahead and turn off Radio Freedom. Now that we have the armory back, you can resupply here whenever you run low on supplies. Anything you need right now? Not right now. Okay, then. So, yeah, you can barter with her if you want. Right now we're going to head south and we're going to start making our way to University Point and then from there we're going to make our way back to Diamond City then turn in the quest for what we just did to Preston and then I think we'll end in Good Neighbor. I think I am going to build up the castle too. So I'll probably end up building the castle up and sanctuary. Those will be my two main settlements. Be really careful. There's usually something over here. May not be for you, but every now and then there's something over here to try to kill you. There's a mire alert. Not really something that's difficult at this point, especially when you're using the, what is this, the Overseer's Guardian. I don't know why I couldn't remember that. Ooh. Someone there. Safety off. I think we have company. Seeing the guy with the mini nuke in his hand, and I was not going to take my chances. We're splitting all that, right? Let's go ahead and level up real quick. Need 46 for that. We could go into armor, but I'm not worried about it. Let's go into perception. We'll max out perception and then we'll worry about maybe armor or something. Jeez, they're still looking for me over there? That's alright. We're almost to University Point. Never mind, we are to University Point. This lets you know right here how evil the Institute is. Completely wiping out a whole community for... I don't want to... Well, it doesn't really matter because we're going to get it here anyways. But for a fucking gun, they want to wipe out a whole community. It's sad, it's tragic, and it's absolutely evil. Oh, that was an upper school. I guess I didn't need that. Take that synth out. There's a couple of synths over here. Not really many, so you shouldn't struggle. There's one over there. Damn it, quit moving so I can kill you. Thought there was one more, but I guess not. Be really careful for the landmine here. Let's go inside the University Point Sedgwick Hall.
We're gonna go to the top. We're gonna have to fight like one synth in here, and then we're gonna listen to a hollow tape. Hostile sent hello. Goodbye. Critical failure. Right here, we're gonna get another Tesla Science magazine. Yes. And then we're gonna come over here to this terminal and we're gonna grab a hollow tape out. We're gonna eject Jack's hollow tape. Let's go ahead and go over to our miscellaneous and go down to the J's. Okay, first I just, I want to say I'm sorry, Dad. I knew I was onto something big and thought I'd see what a traitor would pay if I found it. I had no idea that the Institute would be after any of this. And now the whole town is in trouble. I know you told me not to worry, but I just know that the town is gonna vote to throw us out, or worse. I wasn't lying when I said I didn't have the data, despite what Mr. Owens and his cronies think. That's why I have to go back in. I know the key is in there. I just need to put the pieces together. It's something with that professor. If I can find it, maybe I can give the Institute what they want, and they'll just Leave us alone. I don't know why I crouched. We're going to come up over here. We're going to go up these stairs. We're going to hack this terminal in just a second, but first we want to go upstairs. We're going to go into this terminal here, and we're going to grab ourselves another hollow tape. This one is going to be the University Point Council meeting. As a head of the town council, I call this meeting to order. In attendance this evening, we have Perry yeah. Owens, Gerald we Spencer, get the heck out Sylvia of here. Cooper, and now, myself, Bert we'll Strickland, as acting council head. Bert, what is all this about? I've got wheat that needs bringing in. Yesterday, I received a very disturbing visitor. I managed to record part of the conversation. It's probably best if you all hear it. I don't see anything about that in my records. What was it you said you wanted again? Don't toy with me. We know a girl here found some pre-war data related to energy research, and you're gonna give it to us. I, I really have no idea what data you think we have. We're just farmers and fishers. I'd be happy to ask around for you. Please, just lower the gun. Look. I'm a reasonable man, but the Institute wants that data. You got two days to get it for me, and then we do this the hard way. Oh, God. Jacqueline. What has your daughter done, Gerald? She's been saying that she was close to finding something in those old terminals she fixes up. But I don't think she actually found anything. Bullshit! Now, I overheard her talking to that trader last week. Something about getting ten times the price for something if she sold it in Diamond City. Look, just let me talk to her. See if she actually has this data or not. Uh, Pete, sit down. We all need to remain calm about this. I need you all to keep this to yourselves for now. The last thing we need is to start a panic. Let's go ahead and hack this terminal and go into the University Point Credit Union. Find anything useful or are you just wasting our time again? Turn off that radio. 
And then we're going to come down here. We're going to hack another terminal. Good spot to take a break. Grab this cap stash here. And then the hardest part of this... Uh, well, the hardest part. The hardest part of this part, I suppose, is unlocking this master lock. Sweet. After unlocking that, we'll be able to press this button in here. It'll open up a secret door. And we will be able to pick up the prototype... The prototype... UP-77, also known as Limitless Potential. Perfect. You will never have to reload when using this. As long as you got ammunition, you can just keep shooting. Not a bad laser pistol. It or Well, it could be a laser rifle, laser pistol. It could be whatever you want. But it's pretty good. Over there is a terminal with some lore on it. Now let's go ahead and exit out of here and we will leave University Point and start making our way to Diamond City. We're going to head northwest and then we're going to head straight west where this broken overpass is and then as soon as we get to the broken overpass head west we have a raider camp we're gonna take it out real quick there's not many raiders over here so you shouldn't have to worry about too much I don't know where that other raider went. I thought he was up here. There he is. Come back down here. Go around this stone pillar. Go around the stone pillar. And then we're going to take this road down. There's going to be a military checkpoint. Let's put on the deliverer. We're going to be a little stealthy here. Just a little bit. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. This is an emergency message to all Commonwealth Army soldiers. Emergency protocols don't need any of that. Just trying to see if he had anything on his left arm. Let's grab the guns and bullets uh, magazine. There we go. We can stand up again and we can put on the Overseer's Guardian again. We're going to take this road down heading north. If you want to loot the Wicked Shipping trailer again, you can. We're going to head northwest here. Be really careful. There's this sentry bot that we seen earlier. I think it was a couple of episodes ago we seen this sentry bot. Just be careful for it. <coughs> sentry bots are pretty dangerous. Not as dangerous as assault trons though. Assault trons are way more dangerous than sentry bots. We're going to follow the road around. Around the red rocket here. And we're going to go into Big John's Junkyard. 
Big John, Big Bad John. <laughs> uh, I'm a nerd. Do not mind me. Oh. What's that? Playtime's over. Aha! Gotcha. Pretty sure we're not alone. I'm all over this. Be really careful of the super mutants. One has a minigun, so be aware of that. You can also throw an artillery smoke if you want to get some help from the castle. Jesus Christ. Super mutants just unkillable. There's one up there. You're messing with the best. Oh wow. Popped his head off there. Super mutant hound somewhere over here. Where's he at? There he is. I knew he was around here. I just didn't know where he was at. Heal ourselves. We really don't want to die yet. This shouldn't take long. I am a super mutant. I am unstoppable. <laughs> Would like to take out the super mutants over here too. Oh, there's the one with the minigun. He found us. Ooh. Stop it, sir. I'm missing every shot. Stay still. Oh, don't go over there. Whatever is about to explode. I am good. We're splitting all that, right? Of course, McGreedy. We will split it all. Spineless human. We're gonna go to the top over here, where the guy with the minigun was, and we are gonna pick up tales of a junk town jerky vendor. Nice. We've got a ton of magazines. We're gonna come down over here and then right over here is a hole in the fence and we can head northwest. As long as you see that building, you're going the right way. So just kind of follow this building to railroad tracks, which this is an event spot. You never know what you're gonna have over here. Then down there, it's highly irradiated if you wanna explore down there. I recommend taking some Radex. Sounded like Forrest Gump there for a second. This is a random event area. You never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> uh, sorry, I don't know what's with me today. Follow these railroad tracks down. And then right here when we have a break in the fence, we're gonna come down to this road, hang a right, hang another right. And we're gonna come down to another, I don't know, junkyard, I guess. Hang a left right here, and we are at Diamond City. We can put our guns away. We don't need them. I haven't been to 
Diamond City in years. But I'll tell you, nothing's changed. And that's still doing her thing. Let's go turn in some quests. This better be an emergency. Solomon. Got something green for me, man? And by green, I mean mutated and glowing. Found the plant. Here you go. All right. Here's your payment, plus some samples from the pharmacy. Don't take them all at once now. Moderation. Anyway, I got a store to run. Let's talk shop. Not now. No worries. Come over here and turn in Diamond the mercenary City Frank. Surplus. Keep your guns in your Everything you need. Fish? Need some custom hardware? We got now let's a talk to Mel. For all your hey, it's you. Scope, you find any of those sizes, baseball barrels. items I mentioned? Got them all right here. <laughs> I like your gumption. Let me take a look. Oh, this baseball. It's the real deal. You'd sign one of these and give it to the children of anyone you killed on the field. Look at that card. See those numbers on the back? Tracks the count of enemies beaten to death by the player. Check out the leather on that mitt. Ah, really good players use them to catch bullets. True fact there. That's everything on the list. <laughs> Thank you. Far as I'm concerned, you're now a part of baseball collector history. Got out of left field done. Now we're going to come over here and turn in the green paint. Diamond City surplus is where you can sell all those scraps you've scavenged. You're back. You find that paint? Wasn't easy, but I found some. Yeah. Now that's damn fine news. Why don't you go ahead and paint the first stroke? Let's see how the shade matches up. Working hard? Mmm. That's a good shade of green. The wall sure seems happy with it. This is the part where I get paid. Right you are. There's your payment. And a little bonus for getting the right shade of green. Don't do anything with it I wouldn't do. Nice to be on the open road. Good neighbor was starting to wear out its welcome. Sounds like you had a rough time of it back there. Rough? That's putting it mildly. Let's put it this way. Can't get much rest when you're sleeping with one eye open. Still, it was the best place for me to set up shop. Diamond City's goons would have run me out of town, and wandering the Commonwealth alone isn't the brightest plan when you're hard up for caps. Caps are pretty important. You're goddamn right they are. Right now, I need every cap I can get. Are caps really that important to you? I don't have much of a choice. Uh, I don't usually go around sharing stuff like this, but you've been pretty straight with me, so I'm gonna be straight with you. It's those two asshole, <clears throat> Those two idiots you saw me talking to at the third rail. Winlock and Barnes. They've been hounding me for months, and it's been driving off clients. No one wants to touch me once they learn I used to run with the gunners. And I figured if I could get enough caps together, maybe I could buy them out. How many caps do you need? I'm not sure. Honestly, that's not even what concerns me the most. I'm wondering how I'm going to pull it off. Winlock and Barnes have a small army of gunners with them at all times. They might decide to just keep the caps and put a bullet in my head for good measure. If I set up a place to meet them, I'm sure they'd roll in with everyone they've got. Unless, maybe you and I could pay them a little visit and put an end to them before they realize what's going on. Before you get that look on your face, let me just say that I wouldn't even be asking if I didn't trust you. If you need my help, I'm there. Wow. I don't know what to say. Truth is, I haven't been able to rely on anyone since I was a kid. Everyone I've met has either tried to rip me off or plant a knife in my back. But you, you're different. We see eye to eye on almost everything. And I have a funny feeling you actually care about what happens to me. That's why I asked for your help. I'll tell you what. I'm going to make this easy on you. If you feel like helping me with this... Head over to the Mass Pike Interchange and we'll take them down. If you don't, I'm not going to hold it against you. Either way, thanks for hearing me out. It's nice to know that you care. 
So we'll be going over to Mass Pike Interchange probably in the next video or two. For now, let's go over to data. We will put on, keep old guns on, but we want trouble brewing. Oh, I don't want that. And then return to Hancock. Okay. We got everything. Let's go to our map. We're going to go over to Sanctuary. We're going to talk to Preston. After we talk to Preston, we're going to head over to Good Neighbor. Hey there. What a rush. I've got to hand it to you, General. You've really turned things around for the Minuteman. I never thought I'd see the day that the Minuteman had artillery support again. We should see about building them at all our settlements to expand our coverage. And Ronnie Shaw returns. She's something else, isn't she? Yeah, she definitely knows how to take charge. Ha, <laughs> that's a bit of an understatement from what I hear. I'd heard stories about her from the old timers but I didn't know she was still around. The fact that she's come back to the Men and Men means we must be doing something right. Now let's head over to Good Neighbor. Man, Preston was doing some really crazy stuff there. Uh, sometimes the NPCs are really glitchy, but it's really silly. Let's go talk to Hancock. I heard you walk that freedom trail. What, you some kind of, what do they call it? History buff? How's my little scout doing? You find out what's happening at Pikmin Gallery? Let's just say Pikmin's art isn't going to have much resale value once all those bodies start decaying. <laughs> well, they say all artistic inspiration is ephemeral, am I right? Wish I could say that was the most twisted thing I've ever heard of, but it ranks up there. Top three. I'll put the word out. Tell people to stay clear of that area. Hiring you is definitely one of my better moments. Here, spend the money in good health. Let's go over to the Hotel Rexford. Greetings, new friends. I am the Rufus, what the buddy. heck is this thing? You can it's that brewing machine I was telling buddy. you about. I am here to provide entertainment oh, and man. I That's awesome. libations. I'm going to stir my vodka just in this get thing. it set up over at the bar and out of my doorway. Commencing normal operations. Hey, thanks for your help. Buddy here is even better than I was hoping for. Here's your money. You're back! How was hallucinogen? Find me something good. <laughs> I think I found a drug that even you'd think twice about huffing. That's so. Far out. Can't wait to start breaking this down in the lab. Here's your payment. In full. As promised. Anyway, do you want to pick anything up? Homebrewed chems right here. Not now. Of course, of course. Greetings, buddy. So if you want, you can bring the Airport. Gwinnett uh, brew recipes to the brew buddy or the drinking buddy, not brew buddy, <laughs> the drinking buddy, and he'll give you different kinds of beers. Let's go over to the memory den and end the video. All righty, everyone. I want to start by telling you all thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean a lot to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. 
And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off. <laughs>